Hey guys, Jordan Rowan here from the University Wealth Academy and uh, today I'm going to be talking about 8 awesome online tools for university students to use um, just in general and uh, they're going to really help you out at university. So the first one is Rescue Time and uh, Rescue Time tells you how much time you spent doing all the different things on your computer so it works well as a reminder when you've been spending a lot of time on Facebook and Twitter and things and it basically just adds up all the time you spent during a week and tells you but it's uh, it's good for working out how much time you're wasting on Facebook and how much time you're wasting on Twitter and YouTube and things and um, we could be surprised by how much time that is and um, you know it also tells you how little time you've been spending revising and things so it just works as a good reminder helps you to uh, stay productive and not waste too much time really uh, the second tool is cold turkey um, kind of following along the lines of productivity here uh, fantastic yeah horrible tool uh, horrible because it blocks all of the unproductive sites like Facebook, Twitter and YouTube and things for after you've been using it for a certain amount of time. So say you just wanted to use Facebook for five minutes a day, uh, after five minutes it would block it for the rest of the day. So it's good for uh, productivity and revision but at the same time horrible because you can't go on Facebook. Um, but of course you can always get rid of it if your addiction is that bad and you, and it's, but it's still handy, you know, it's still handy to have. And it, um, it will help you to keep on track and keep focused on your work and things because it is so easy to be distracted by emails and be distracted by Facebook and things and just not actually get anything done so uh, a great app if you want to keep keep being productive at university and stop procrastination Bubble um, don't know why it hasn't got an E but awesome for creating spider diagrams um, it stops you having to stick loads of bits of paper together it stops it just being messy and confusing and you know it's just a, a great tool for uh, creating really extensive spider diagrams for a vice form. Um, yeah, it's useful, free, go get it. Write or die. Yep, that's right. Yep, that's right. You better get writing or you're in trouble. I mean, this app basically it just kind of negative reinforcement, really. Um, if, you, if you're trying to write something and you're writing really slowly or you're not really doing you're procrastinating, you're reading Facebook or whatever, what Write or Die will actually start doing is deleting your word or play annoying noises and things like that to get you writing. So, um, as the guy who made it says, it puts the prod in productivity. You know, it's just it just to help you keep going with things and um, stops you procrastinating, it stops you wasting time, basically. So it's a good app to have for that. Edit Minion. Uh, finally someone to edit your work for you. I mean, this is a, an awesome app. Um, basically just who wouldn't want someone editing their work for them I mean well it's not someone it's a computer program but who wouldn't want that it's easy it just makes things easier for you it saves you time so go and get it Mendele makes referencing very easy basically as you go through and you're, and you're revising and you're working on your essays and things you just have to put websites books articles you read as you go into uh, Mendele and what it will do is spit out a bibliography bibliography at the end in any in any referencing style you need so it's just it's easy because if you're like me I, I find referencing stuff so boring so um, as you go along you just put the URL in the book and you can also put the ISBN number of the book in uh, to Mendele and it'll, it will sort out the author and everything for you so it's a really good tool that for uh, you know getting your references at the end of essays and things Oxford di di Dictionaries and Simple Wiki. Uh, these are good for when you know complicated subjects are, uh, and you just you, you can't get the basic information on things. But it, the, the, this is what this is good for when you can't get the basic information. When you when you just want a simple, um, basic overview of a subject, or you just want a simple profile of a guy, or you just want a simple explanation of an event simple wiki and oxford dictionaries are really good for that if you don't know what simple wiki is click the uh, link up above and there's a video there which explains ex how to make complicated subjects simple with simple wiki uh, so yeah they're, they're really good websites to go on if, you, if you're really struggling to uh, to get the grasp on a subject just go to oxford dictionaries or simple wiki and you'll, you'll probably find your answer there so thank you for watching this video I know it's a short one please share like and comment um, so more students can find this hopefully they'll it will help them out with the tools and things check out my website at www.jordanruling.com uh, if you want to learn how to pay off your university debts by making money online or you just want revision tips, productivity tips or something, some things that are going to help you a lot in university uh, please subscribe up above to keep up to date with the Wealth Academy news and um, videos so you don't get left behind and uh, good luck, thank you very much for watching I'll see you soon